Hi, this is Melanie from Hook to the Left, and today we're going to be taking a look at this October Crochet Club Kit from Mary Maxim. So let's go ahead and get started. Hi, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me here today. If you're new to my channel, thank you for subscribing and joining me in watching my videos. I really appreciate it. If you are returning, Thank you as well. I really appreciate you coming back and spending time with me each time I put out a new video. If you like yarn hauls, uh, crochet product reviews, and tutorials among many other crochet type stuff, then please go ahead and hit that subscribe button plus the bell so you're reminded each time I put out a new video. Now before I get into this kit, and we are going to dig in, um, I wanted to let you guys know that I have got a special live coming up soon, and it's going to be with three other crochet tubers. That's right. You probably have already seen that um, the reminder set out there. So if you see that, that uh, little tag saying, hey, this is coming up on the 17th, do you want a reminder? Go ahead and click that button so that you get reminded when we're going to go live. It's going to be four of us total. We're going to be live and we're going to go over some quick crochet projects for Christmas. Okay, so now enough about that. Let's go ahead and get into this kit. I'm going to go ahead and open it up. Um, as always, my, before I open it up actually, as always, Mary Maxim, they package their kits, their, even their monthly kits, in these awesome bags. They are vinyl bags, so they're real sturdy, and the whole kit comes inside this bag. The only thing that you're not going to get in this kit is, well, let me take it back. You get all the yarn you need to create the project that is on the, uh, the pattern for the kit. So you don't get the hooks, you don't get the, the darning needles, that kind of stuff, but you have everything else that you need to make this project inside this kit. And it's also inside this vinyl bag for storage. And um, I love these. I love these bags. This is the Mary Maxim does this right. That's all I have to say. All right, let me go ahead and open it up. And then we're going to take out, it's all, it's five skeins of yarn. They're all the same skein, same type of skein, same colorway and same uh, brand of yarn. So I'm only going to take out one and then I'm going to take out the pattern. We won't look too close at the pattern um, only because it's not mine to share so I won't do that but you have got plenty of time since I was able to get this out pretty quickly you've got plenty of time to go and order this kit for this month and honestly I really think it's worth it and I'll tell you why here in a little bit. Alright I'm going to bring you down a little bit closer as we look at the, uh, the pattern. And then we'll look a little bit closer at this yarn. I'm going to set it off to the side so you can enjoy the colors while we look at the pattern. Okay, so it's the Bella Wrap. Shawl Wrap, you know. it. <laughs> they all look the same to me. I know, I'm so uncouth. But uh, it's a beautiful look here. Look at this. Isn't that gorgeous? So... As you guys may know, I always get two of these kits. Now, some months I give away one of the kits, some months I don't. Now, since I've been getting this, I have given away the, the second kit for each month. This month, that's not gonna happen. I mean, look at this yarn and look at this wrap. Now, I am gonna have a different giveaway, but look at this wrap, isn't that gorgeous? So I'm gonna make one for me and one for my daughter. And if she doesn't like it, then this wrap will go to my mother. So I have, I have people in mind for this wrap. So unfortunately, I will not be giving away this particular <laughs> second kit. I'm going to be making it. Uh, but like I said, you've got plenty of time. Just go to MaryMaxim.com and you've got plenty of time to order this. And, um, and if you haven't ordered one yet, you get the introductory into the intro because that's easy for me to say. Um, the introductory rate of $9.99 and that is so worth it because you get five of these skeins and I'm going to tell you about the value of that here shortly. Okay, so let's get back to this. So you've got that beautiful wrap which I showed you a couple of times and I've been gushing about. Now I don't want to show too much of the pattern so I'm going to fold that over. I am going to show you here real quick the close up of the stitch work. Look at that gorgeous 
So, I mean, really beautiful. Okay. Now we're going to take a look at this. It starts with the instructions and then some of the, some of the things that they talk about here. I'm going to cover up some of the instructions here, but um, so your finished product is going to be uh, 19 inches, 19 by 71 inches or 48 by 180.5 centimeters. Um, it does require five balls of Red Heart Unforgettable. Um, they do suggest either the polo or the parrot colors. Um, and they use for this particular project a size G or a, four, a G or six or a 4.0 millimeter hook. That is American sizes. And uh, it looks like we're going to be using a lot of different stitches. We're going to be using um, a chain, single crochet, half double crochet, double crochet, um, a slip of course. Th those are all very common. Uh, there's going to be where you chain into spaces um, or you chain into stitches. Uh, they, then we're also going to, looks like we're going to do double crochet two together or put two together. Anyway, so it looks like it's going to be, and I think they usually put, let me see if it's on the front, whether it's a beginner or a, they don't say this time. Now I've seen where they've put it on here as to whether it's like a beginner or an easy or a, a difficult pattern. And they're not telling me that. Um, I would say it, this with this particular yarn and the fact of the different types of stitch work that you're going to be doing, I would not put this as a beginner pattern. I wouldn't say it's a difficult pattern either. So I put it somewhere between easy and intermediate um, because this can be a little bit harder to work with. It's a little bit different. I've been working with some unforgettable, which I love it by the way, but it does go from thick to thin. And with a four millimeter hook, some of the thicker pieces, you have to be careful not to split the yarn. Um, so just keep that in mind. So I wouldn't say if you're very new to crochet, I would, uh, you know, put this little kit aside late to later and then give yourself until maybe next year and then finish this project. But the value of this and the beauty of this pattern. So there's the pattern. Now I know you want to learn about the yarn, right? Let's go ahead and learn about this yarn. So this is Red Heart Unforgettable Yarn. I'm going to come in even closer so you get a real good look at this yarn. I mean, how could you not? I, look at these colors. These are fall colors. Holy smokes. This is some gorgeous yarn. Look at that. I'm going to let it whoop, go backwards here. Just, just, just be in awe of those colors. How gorgeous are those? I could look at that all day, but then that would make for a very boring video, wouldn't it? But really, those are flipping gorgeous colors, period. So let's learn a little bit more about this yarn. So it is Red Heart Unforgettable Yarn. Um, on this label, which is not what you're going to use these for because you're going to use it for the pattern that you got in the kit, but it does have the cow on this label. And that looks like a really neat one. I actually have uh, another skein of this yarn that I'm thinking about doing the cowl with. Um, anyway, they reckon this is, uh, they do recommend with this and I have the kitty up here. So you may see a paw. All right. So this is a roving yarn. That's something very important to remember. And I'll be discussing this more in an upcoming video. Uh, I think it'll be coming out towards the end of this month, if not the beginning of next month, based on the plans that I have for my videos upcoming. But it is a medium worsted weight yarn. I would say that is correct. I have seen it go to upper, almost bulky weight down to on another, another unforgettable. I've seen it go, on, go almost up to a bulky weight down to almost a DK weight. And um, that's not unrealistic for a roving yarn. So just to let you know on that one, um, it does also recommend a six millimeter hook. I actually disagree with that. I feel like the six millimeter is a little bit too big. I would go with a five and a half or a five, um, just because in some of the parts it gets very thin and that six millimeter, it, the stitch work would look funny with some of those thinner parts. 
whereas when it gets a little bit thicker the five and a half millimeter really lends itself well to it or even the five millimeter um, four millimeter almost feels a little bit too small so that's just my opinion they this uh, red heart does recommend a six millimeter hook um, <clears throat> You can machine, oh, and it does also recommend a five by five millimeter um, uh, crochet needle, or not crochet needle, <laughs> a knitting needle, duh. All right, you can machine, wash, and dry, and it says see the reverse side for more care instructions. It is 100% acrylic, and in this ball of yarn you get uh, it is 3.5 ounces or 100 grams or it is 270 yards or 246 meters and this particular colorway that they gave me and this is the same colorway in both kits that I got if anybody else gets this kit and got a different colorway let me know what colorway you get put that down in the comments below I would love to know but um, I got polo polo which is one of the recommended colorways in in the instructions here see it says polo or parrot which I think I have parrot somewhere else around here just one scheme though but um, I like the polo I mean these are ooh, I think I accidentally scared my cat <laughs> sorry <laughs> I like the polo these are amazing fall colors yeah don't you just look at that and think fall think campfire think coziness think just mmm yummy <laughs> so that to me is fall colors I think this is gonna make a beautiful wrap and I have so many other projects on deck that I know it's gonna be probably a month or two before I get to making this wrap but I am definitely gonna be making this wrap along with the uh, every other thing that I got in the Mary Mac Maxim kits that's one thing about these Mary Maxim kits that I've been getting I haven't made anything yet I will and it will be posted on my Instagram which you know, make sure you follow me on Instagram if you're on Instagram. Um, but I plan on making every single kit because it's beautiful. This is beautiful um, patterns and stuff. Now, I like to tell you about the value. As you know, regular price for these kits is $14.99. I usually pay right around $5 in shipping. So right around twenty dollars total is what i end up paying for a mary maxim kit and you're wondering well i is this really worth it melanie for me to if i were to run out and get this kit is this worth it for me to keep on paying for this well i know if you checked out my my video from last month which i'll link that up above right now it, then you'll know that it was absolutely worth it the value of the yarn that you got inside of the kit last month well surpassed the amount it's that you o'clock. My computer likes to tell me what time it is. The value of the yarn that you got in last month's kit well surpassed how much you paid on the kit. So what about this month, Melanie? Hmm? Okay, so I took a look at uh, I looked up uh, Lion Brand Unforgettable Yarns. I just did a quick Google search for them um, to see what prices they're being sold out sold out right now and I don't know I don't think Red Heart puts right on their label what they recommend you sell it at but um, so usually I, I saw I've seen these listed anywhere between like 350 up to seven dollars I believe that the regular price that I've seen is somewhere it's either six or seven dollars per scheme for these um and you get five skeins for the wrap so say it's 350 times five so that's 17 dollars and 50 cents which is just under if with the shipping in and shipping <coughs> That you pay for and and that's not even counting this i mean honestly um i just paid for that pocket shawl you know i just paid six dollars for uh, a paid um pattern for that so i would imagine something like this would go for about six dollars so if you add that on top of the value of this 
um, then you're over that twenty dollars that you're going to pay for shipping and hand you know that you pay including the shipping handling so the fourteen plus the five um, so just to let you know on the low end that value for this project this project kit comes out to twenty two dollars and fifty cents and that includes the price of the patterns assuming that it would be right around six dollars okay so it's twenty two that's on the low end now what what I saw more often than not was close to six dollars so six dollars times five plus six that comes out to thirty six dollars and you pay remember you paying twenty for this so it comes out to about thirty six dollars now on the high end I did see it at seven dollars a skein and then that would put the value of the kit at forty one dollars so anywhere between what, would, what did I say twenty three or twenty two dollars between twenty two and forty one dollars that's the value of this particular kit so yes I do think that it is worth it it continues to be worth it um, this is not as good a deal I don't think as last month's was but I don't care this Red Heart Unforgettable yarn, I love this yarn. I absolutely adore this colorway and this pattern looks amazing. So yes, I say this is totally worth it. Um, go to MaryMaxim.com and make sure that you go and get your own. Now I do want to tell you that I am not affiliated with Mary Maxim. I pay for my own subscriptions. I pay for two because sometimes I give one away and sometimes I keep both. So I pay for two subscriptions and <clears throat> out of my pocket they do not donate them to me. I'm not affiliated with them. Um, I just happen to really think they do a great job and I like to show you their kits each month as they come in. So that is it for today. Tell me what you think of this particular kit. Tell me if you are going to start getting that Mary Maxim kit because of this video. I would love to know. Tell me if you're already getting the Mary Maxim kit and what you think of get this. Have you gotten your kit for this month yet? Did you get the same color that I did? Um, let me know. Just put it all in the comments down below. I'd love to hear from Thank you. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you like things like this, I'm definitely going to have another one next month and I'm probably going to have another one this month for darn good yarns but then go ahead and hit that subscribe button hit the bell so you're reminded each time I put out a new video and I can't wait to see you again thank you and goodbye